In this lesson, we will learn one of the most frequently used verbs in Russian language, the verb to love. It's uh, one of the most frequently used verbs, not because Russians like to love so much, but uh, uh, because it also signifies to like. It, the actual meaning is to love, but the Russians like to say it for I, I love something, for example. So it, it, it is presented in so many sentences. So let's start with a uh, conjugation of uh, to love. Любить. 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 And uh, our personal pronouns. Я. Ты. Он. Она. Мы. Вы. And они. The verb ends in it, which means I hope you got your tables on the extra paper about conjugation of verbs. It's type, of, type number two verb. If you don't have the table, uh, I would suggest to you return to a verb conjugation and write it down. It's very useful. And, um, well, it's type number two or type number three according to our structure. And I'm telling you, this is type number two. And type number two follows conjugation form number two. So the second line of our two conjugation types. And conjugation type number two, we remove the last three letters and replace them with, you get it on the table, you, for, for yeah, for I, we replace it with you. But любить is a little exception here. In the yeah case, in uh, I, we replace it with лю. So, я люблю. This is just an exception. The rest of the personal pronouns are remaining the same. Ты любишь, you love. He or she is loving. Она любит, он любит. It. Мы любим. Вы любите. And они любят. So, we got любить. Now I want to present you a model of a sentence. And a st general structure which you could use uh, basically anywhere for anything. A sentence, I love something or I like something. The, the literal meaning, I love something, but the Russian means it uh, like I like something. Unless it's you are speaking about a um, romantic love or love to somebody or something. So, I love to read. How would we say I love? Я, we remove the last three letters. Я люблю. Я люблю. Я люблю. And now to make it, yeah, I love to read. We just need to put to read in, in its uh, standard dictionary form, in its infinitive uh, form. So я люблю читать, to read. Читать. Я люблю читать. How would you say um, he loves to read? He would be ты люб иш. Ты любишь читать. Ты люб иш читать. Читать. So now you can say quite few things about yourself. What, what do you like? And if you know a verb in, a, in its infinitive uh, form, um, well, you just uh, love to do this uh, action. But you can also say, I don't like. I don't like or I don't love. It means I don't like. We just need to place не between я and люблю. For example, I don't like to read. I don't love to read. Я не... Люблю б лю читать. Читать. Я не люблю читать. So, не and люблю, не and verbs are written separately. So, я не люблю читать. How would you say you don't like reading? Ты не любишь читать. Ты не любишь лю люб иш. 
читать. Читать. So, how would you say just for uh, for an example and for exercise? They don't like reading. Они, they are, они не любят лю люб and the ending yet. Они не любят читать. Чи тать. Они не любят читать. Just for you to remember. Do, do you remember we got two possible endings for они? Яд or ад. And for example here, if you would for example forget, forget that uh, любят is written with я, and you would say они не любят читать. It's still fine. <laughs> Russians will understand you. It's not fine. Grammatically it sounds weird, but uh, it's understandable. Now let's exercise few verbs. How would we say I like to ask? To ask would be спрашивать. Я люблю люблю спрашивать с п р ш и в а т ь Я люблю спрашивать. How would we say He likes to relax. He likes to rest. Он would be he. Люб, eat. Он любит, he likes. Он любит, he likes, he loves. To relax, to rest, отдыхать. To relax, to rest would be отдыхать. Отдыхать. От Ды хать. And how would we say we like to speak? We like to speak. To speak was разговаривать or говорить. Мы люб им любим лю Бим разговаривать раз го ва ри бать мы любим разговаривать разговаривать would be to speak I cannot remember if we learned this verb so far or we didn't uh, write them write write this word down and try to conjugate it. This is a very important verb, разговаривать, to speak. It ends with ать, and it is irregular. So you, you will need to figure out how to conjugate it uh, properly. Uh, to conjugate it properly, just go online and check conjugation for the verb разговаривать. You get already the infinite infinity form of, of this verb. Um, I guess we will also study it in the later se se sessions because it's a very important one. However, right now we need it only in the infinitive form, so let's let's keep it this way. Мы любим разговаривать, and we also know an uh, synonymous uh, verb for разговаривать is говорить. Говорить is actually to speak. Разговаривать is to have a conversation. So, how would we say you in the polite form like to speak or to to have a conversation also? Вы in a polite form. Вы люб и те любите любите говорить го во рить. Вы любите говорить. And говорить we already know this verb. Вы любите говорить. You like to talk. Разговаривать is more sophisticated word. Разговаривать is to have a conversation. And говорить is to speak. Вы любите говорить. It might even sound like an accusation for somebody that he is too chatty. Now let's ask a question. Um, is, he, is he liking to read? Does he love to read? 
he would be on. Он любит, люб, it. Он любит, любит. Читать, to read, in infinitive form. Читать, читать. And to make it a question, we need to emphasize on читать. Он любит читать. And we got two possible answers. Yes or no. Да and нет. However, we want to answer as, an, as a full sentence because we we're, we're trying to learn the, how to build a sentence. Yes, he likes to read. Да, он любит читать. So simple as it is, we placing он любит читать. Да, он любит любит читать. Чи Tight. But we can also answer no. Нет, он не любит читать. Do you remember? A slide ago we were explaining, we were discussing how to say a negative. Я люблю спрашивать. I love, I like to ask. I love to ask. Я не люблю спрашивать. I don't like to ask. Он любит отдыхать. He likes to rest. Он не любит отдыхать. He doesn't like to rest. Мы любим разговаривать. We like to speak, to, to have a conversation. Мы не любим разговаривать. We don't like to have a conversation. Вы любите говорить. You like to, to speak. Вы не любите говорить. You don't like to speak. So, он любит читать. What would be answer, the negative answer? Нет. Он не Любит, любит читать, читать. 